Hi and welcome back to a brand new video. Here we're going to be having a look at uh, how I imported a really old track from uh, Logic 5.5, which is uh, what I was using back in 2004. As you can see here, the uh, files are really, really old. 18 years old, actually. And uh, so what I did is I opened it up and... Uh, had a bit of an adventure trying to get it all to work but fortunately i recorded everything to audio so there was no midi involved and no midi instruments and stuff but some of the plugins come up let's just uh, have a look and see what happens when i open this up then so we're working in 10 uh, 10.7.2 and uh scanning uh audio units and uh it then wants to convert my old ACO uh, system. The audio system was ACO back in the day to core audio. So we convert that. Then it says automation data converted, continue. And then we have this, <laughs> which has come up. Uh, we've got this, for net, this window open. Now we've got this environment here, which is the mixing desk that I had before. And as you can see, I've got these... Uh, outputs go into uh, like output one two three four five six etc and um, this was because i had a pulsar scope card that was uh, in the pc that i bought which was like a really expensive card which had loads of outboard plugins and stuff that i used for mixing it was really good and uh, anyway this doesn't really work so i'll get rid of that and we'll use the mixer here yeah Okay, so we've got the mixer, and uh, you can see I've got all these tracks here. What I do is I've just reduced this window here because you can see it's uh, really, really open up big, and you can see all the uh, all the uh, files have come up. Now, the problem here is that they've all come up as one color. That's really weird. Oh uh, yeah, I know why they've come up as one color because I've got this actually as. Uh, program to do the um yeah that shouldn't really do that that shouldn't really that should have colors that's a bit weird um so let me just do that again got a preferences uh preferences uh display um tracks and we do this individual right there you go. So this comes up with the colors that I had at the time. And um, I wasn't using the, my color system I use today. So I will actually put that to the colors. So as you can see here, uh, we have some of the parts. But no, none of the audio has come up. So you're going to have to reassign the audio for start. I found this out, right? So this is really, really pain painstaking because you can't actually, okay, you can't actually do them all at once. Now, but I discovered something. It does actually still work the way it does with Logic 5 is that you, when you open up and it gives you, there's a window that comes up and says, do you want to find this, this audio file is missing. Do you want to find it? say yes don't skip it say yes it will find that one file you go through the same process of going through the audio file um, folder and finding the file and then it actually assigns them all at the same time like it did in logic 5.5 so that does actually work uh, and i didn't find any info on that when i was looking around on the internet i couldn't fi figure out because um in logic 5.5 when you used to click on this it did that you could click on that you find one then they would all assign i don't know why it does it doesn't do that in logic 7.2 because maybe because it's not as good as logic 5.5 <laughs> anyway so um i have all the files here now that i need there are a couple that are missing here that i noticed uh, were not on the uh they were not imported or they were corrupted, so they're missing. But that's not really a problem because I got most of the files I need. Now, the second problem I had here, or the third, whatever it is, is that I've got only got one file that's playing, which is the base up the top. 
and all the rest are not are not playing the 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 the, the audio is there you can see it coming up um actually you can't see it coming up oh yeah you can there's a vo there's a vocal part there that seems to be want to play no so you can't nothing nothing's coming up in the audio either but you can see the audio is there okay that's what i meant to say now um the the only way i found around this and i was looking around for ages trying to figure out why there was no audio there's no grid and there's no audio I, the grid won't work and the audio won't work so it's really weird so what i did was well for start what i like to do here is put that on custom it gives me a nice broader view of what's going on so what i decided to do or what i did by accident was actually copy or create new tracks and then copy all those all this over to the new tracks that I created. Now doing that you lose all the uh, the bus configurations and the effects but they don't really work anyway because they're the old versions and some are not even coming up. The the fat EQ and the stereo delay here doesn't want to come up. It says it's not it's not working. Uh, plug in load as needed. Reduce, reduce. Uh, yeah, it won't come up until it's uh, until it's needed, I suppose. Oh yeah, it does work. I say sorry, my bad. Um, I'm discovering like you here. So this uh, basically, um, you do that. Go back to that. Oh, that doesn't want to come up. Fat EQ doesn't want to come up. So, but there's some weird stuff going on with this. But I don't really want the effects on this anyway because uh, I will be remixing it. I just want the audio and something to be a bit more solid to work on. But um, so yeah, I've got all these files here that are MIDI. Uh, it's the GM MIDI general MIDI setup that used to come automatically in the mixer so you've got like a, a general midi setup here with different uh with all the the 16 uh midi channels that used to come up which we don't need i'm going to get rid of them because they're just cluttering up there's some midi in there but i don't want it so get rid of that uh, i'm just going to get rid of some of the stuff i don't want these files here the aux auxiliaries i put in there and stuff and tidy it up so basically what i do is i just See how many tracks I've got. So we don't want this MIDI stuff here. Just get rid of that. And get rid of these files. Uh, tape delay. Delay stuff like that. Make Q. This one there's nothing on there. Um, there's nothing on that one there. And then there's a click on that. So we've got 28 tracks. But some of these I don't want. This one I don't want. I know that's no good. It's just a, a beat up at there. Which wasn't really i think i muted it and then uh, so what you do is you create tracks then what we do is just reduce this up a bit uh oh yeah we're going to get rid of this one as well get rid of this one this track nothing there and then we're ready to go so we've got 25 tracks right so let's just bring that down here and we'll put that on one actually so it's all in mono i didn't change the tracks to what so they're all in stereo so we change them all to stereo. go here Okay, then we can get rid of all of these tracks over here, then get rid of So here I have basically the sound now. See, very, very uh, raw uh, sounding, but we have it. And uh, what I do now is I just uh, rename all the tracks and I put all my colors the way I do. And uh, it will look and sound like this afterwards. Heart, 
so yeah so there you have it that's how you uh open up a, a track from uh 20 years ago uh from logic 5.5 from a pc into today's logic so yeah hope you enjoyed this video if you did like subscribe and i will see you soon ciao